Welcome to August Lico Challenge. Today's problem is range addition 2. You are given an m times n matrix initialized with all zeros and an array of operations where ops i equals a comma b essentially means uh, it should be incremented by 1 for all of 0 less than or equal to x less than a. Um, <laughs> well essentially they give you a coordinate and that's going to start from 0 0 all the way to that coordinate and everything inside that area box or square whatever you want to call it is going to be incremented by 1 so here we see that we start with 2 2 and we increment all the boxes or cells from 0 0 to 2 2 all these become 1 and then we increment everything from 0 0 to 3 3 by 1 and then we find at the very end we'll, we'll have four cells with our max integer which is going to be 2. So at first glance this seemed like a problem where I just recreate this temporary array here this ma this matrix rather and then I can just go through the operations and increment every cell by 1 uh, but that's not going to work because immediately you'll get a memory limit exception uh, so that told me that we don't want to create any temporary matrix we want to figure out if there's a way to do this um, in constant space and the way that we could think about this is we know that all the cells from 0, 0 to whatever here are going to be incremented by 1, right? So what that means then is whatever rectangle or square that we're given, at the very end, there's going to be one area of squares that starts at 0, 0 and goes to some coordinate that's going to be the maximum amount. And given that all these overlay from 0, 0, that basically means our area of the maximum integers will be the minimum rows and the minimum columns. And if we have those two, then we can just calculate the area and then just return that. And that's, that's going to be the number of cells with our maximum integer. So uh, let's figure this out. What we'll do is initialize, call it min row and min column. And these start with M and N. Next, we'll just move through all of our rows and columns in operations. And we're going to calculate what the minimum is here. So min R and min C is just equal to the min of min R and R, and this would be the min, min C and C. Finally, we can just return the area calculated here, and this would be it. Let's make sure this works. Okay, let's go and submit it. There we go. So time complexity is just O of n, or um, n being the number of operations, which is nice, and it's going to be constant space. Yeah, so you know you can easily go down bad paths here and try to do this like brute force, uh, straightforward. But pretty quickly you should realize like that's never going to work because um, you know when when the numbers get a, even a little bit big, it starts giving you memory limit exceptions. So yeah, once I realized that, I, I knew there had to be some clever way to do this and. That's what I came up with. So, okay. Thanks for watching my channel. Remember, do not trust me. I know nothing.